Hi hey everyone, I'm Andy Beach, a uh, uh, consultant for Carpa. Uh, I was asked by Carpa to basically talk you through my solid bag rig, uh, a rig that gave me a load of success uh, while I was over in Parco, the early part of this year. Uh, the principles of the rig of what I'm using for this particular setup will be with rig tubing, because today we're fishing on um, Old Mill Willow Lake. Uh, generally I'd fish it with a leader, but ultimately uh, the rig and rig pattern is, uh, the, the, the fundamentals of the rig's exactly the same, it's just this has got a leader on and that one's fishing with tubing. I tend to fish most of my um, fishing with drop-off leads, especially when I'm in weedy water so I can get the fish straight up to the surface. So to talk you through my rig, uh, the bit that gives, has been giving me so much success this year and giving me a load of success um, at Parco is the sweet cones, sweet cones dispersion, dumbbell wafters, uh, the matching 14 mil uh, dumbbells soaked in lots of sweet corn energizer and the sweet corn pandemonium um, pellet streamer pellets. So ultimately for me, uh, the rig that I've been used for most of my fishing end, end rig wise is massive fan of the multi-rig. I think it's great, it serves its purpose for me for both. But when I'm fishing wafters, once this is on and sat in place, and same for pop-ups with a little bit more putty, gets me a lot closer to the bottom with a small bit. Um, so it, it, yeah, it works ideal for me really. It's, 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 it's probably my go-to rig is, is, is the multi-rig since it has come about more and more. I use it more than anything else. So my solid rig pattern, and again, everyone fishes them yeah, differently. Some people prefer to put the lead in so far down with a bit of bait in and follow the hook bait over the top. Uh, for me, it's a visual thing. It's, it's, yeah, for me, the mechanics of the rig is, is that that's to go further down. The lead's supposed to sit behind it and with a solid bag if i can see how the hook's laid at the bottom and how it's all set then it gives it it means i'm fishing confident and i'm happy about it so for me i tend to lay my bait in into one of the corners so it lays nip the tubing and i can see my hook bait sat on its side with a hook point sat on its side and sat supperly i then use a soft pellet only a tiny bit, not much. A little bit of soft pellet. And I use that to just nicely pack down right into the corners. Because it's a soft pellet, it all breaks back up. Pack that down all right into the very corners. And I make that the basis of packing the rest of my bait over the top. Knowing that that's holding my link exactly how I want it. Curled nicely with my bait flat on the bottom. So it's personal choice, everyone fishes bags differently. It's just what works for me and I'm always confident with it. And as we know in this game, it's all about confidence. I then use, so I'm fishing a sweet corn dispersion a boilie with a sweet corn soft pellet and then a sweet corn energizer gel. Here are the hook, hook bit. Then like to use our sweet corns pandemonium pellets, which I think these are brilliant the way the breakdown and the amount how the flavours ooze off them. A couple of spoonfuls in, start to compact it down. Quite methodical on compacting these all the way down. A couple of sweet corn boilies, just broken down. So something a little bit more uh, tangible in there and just a little pellets. Again then, with the pellet itself, so about halfway the bag. Start to really work to compact it down. Uh, a bit like with concrete in, it's almost tampering. You're just constantly pushing, trying to push the air to the top compact the bait down to the bottom so you can start working on as tight a bag as you can with these pellets. Once that's done, sit my lead in the centre of the bag, take off my feed, 
push the bombing. Still keeping it all compact down. As I mix with my bait, I like to use a little bit of oil as well, just to, once the bag breaks up, a bit more flavour that's down there. So this is a chilli end oil that's in here. Put some of that in there. And especially with it being an oil, it's, it's, it's PVA friendly. It, it, helps with the, it helps with the pandemonium pellets that it doesn't start breaking them down. And then just slowly start to push it compact it, twist it in to make my bag, tie it off, I'd love to say I'm one of these match tight, uh, fast tight match carp anglers who do the lick and stick and just roll it over and do a, a lovely tight bag in 30 seconds, I'm probably a little bit more slower and methodical in my approach. the bag working the sides and that's it that is my solid bag set up mixture of the oil, the energizer gel, and like I said before, I actually like to see my bait and hook and link of how it's going on. Now that's folded up and then makes its way into the lead there. Um, just a personal choice. And that rig, whether it's fishing on a, a tubing rig or whether I fish it on places where I can fish a leader, still the same, just a difference in the material, but the bag setup is pretty much the same for everywhere I go. And this is what caught me all of my fish at Parco del Brenta, exact same.